Jesus is alive. We've just celebrated the resurrection of Jesus after his death on the cross. This news was surprising for his disciples, for they were grieving for his death that time. The story happened after Sabbath, at the first day of the week, at the dawn when Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the tomb where Jesus was buried. Suddenly there was a great earthquake. There was an angel of the Lord descending from heaven, came and rolled back the stone at Jesus' tomb and sat on it. His appearance was like lightning and his clothing white as snow. The angel then said to the women that they should not be afraid, for Jesus, who they were looking for, had been raised. Before it happened, in Matthew chapter 27, verse 62 to 66, it is written that after the death of Jesus, one of the chief priests and Pharisees remembered that while Jesus was still alive, he ever said that after three days, he will rise again. Therefore, they asked Pilate to make sure that the tomb be secured until the third day in so that the disciples would not go and steal him away. His tomb then was guarded by soldiers and the stone was secured by seal. When the angel came from heaven, the guards saw it and shook that they became like dead men. Some of them then went into the city and told the chief priests everything that they'd witnessed. They then gave a large sum of money to the soldiers and asked them to tell lies that Jesus' disciple came by night and stole him away while they were asleep. And if it was heard by the governor, the chief priests and the elders would protect them. The story was kept among the Jews until after the day of Pentecost when this gospel was written. But Jesus, who had been raised, met the women that came to his tomb and asked them to tell the brothers to go to Galilee for they would meet him there. At the end of the day, only God's will be done. There is no power that can hinder it, not the Roman soldiers, not the chief priests and elders, not even the governors. Jesus himself did not attempt to bring his enemies down after his resurrection. He let the chief priests and the elder keep the news for his rising a secret because he had a more important thing to do that was meeting his disciples and sending them peace. The resurrection of Jesus has taught us a very important lesson that Easter is not about winning over enemies but about God's love which surpasses all powers.